Max tutorial number 10, The Big Secret. A big secret it is indeed. In the last tutorial we opened up um, Max's own uh, help and tutorial files to figure out how to get help in Max, but I want to show you something that when I learned it um, just made such a difference in how I could get things done in Max. It's underhanded cheating, but it works so well that I think everybody should know it. So here's the big secret. Um, you can make stuff in Max very, very quickly by using Max help files. And this is the other kind of help file. So I'm just going to show you. We had um, used a metronome before, so let's just, uh, in a new patcher window, just type the letter N, type the word metro, and hit return. Don't even enter any um, arguments in there. Metro, there it is. And um, take your cursor and uh, just stick it over the metro, hold down the option key, and click on it. And you see this other window pops up. And this is the Metro help window. And what you, it's an actual patcher. It works like a patcher. So look, you can hit go and it starts blinking. You can change the time. You can do all of the things you do with a regular patcher. And there's a very good reason why it is a patcher. Their help files are actually patchers. So this means something really exciting because down in the corner of this patcher there is once again an unlock button. And that means that you can unlock your patcher or you could of course hit command E as I like to. And then you can highlight all the pieces that you want you can copy them by hitting Command C if you're on a Mac or Control C if you're on a PC. And then I just close the window. I'm done. I delete this stupid metronome that I made only seconds ago. And then I just paste this piece, which already has all of its stuff connected to it. And there, look at that. Boom! If I lock my patcher, you'll see I have a metronome that works. It's running at 500, of course, because nothing's happened with the zero yet. So let, let me turn that off. Um, also in the help windows, sometimes there's variations of help. So let's uh, make another object real quick, and we'll just string some stuff together. So type N. Whoops. Unlock your patcher. Type N, and type uh, counter. No arguments, just counter. It's counterintuitive. Just kidding. Okay, put your cursor on it, hold down the option key, and click, and you get the counter help window. And if you just wanted to know things, these are indeed very helpful. So here's a counter that counts, here's a counter that counts forwards, backwards, up and down, all the things that we had just learned about a counter. And then look over here, there's a counter that already has a button an increase message, a decrease message, and all of the outputs already made and labeled. Well, ha how handy is that? It would take you a couple minutes to put all that stuff together. So I just unlock the patcher, and I copy all the pieces that I want, uh, Command C, and I close the window, Command W, goodbye, and I delete this counter and I paste in my new stolen counter. Look at that. It's so good to be bad sometimes. So look, so now we can connect them and in almost no time at all, except for the time that it took me to tell you how brilliant I was, um, in almost no time at all, we have a metronome with a counter. I just locked my patcher, 
and I'm just going to go ahead and hit this. Bang, 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 bang. It's counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, I'm going to stop that for a second and just say, let's move on to some other objects to stick together. But I wanted to show you some dangerous water here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I have a little bit of a froggy throat today. Um, one of the objects that we looked at this past week was the preset object. We'll just type the letter N here, type preset, return. We'll get you this beautiful preset here. Like with the other one, we're going to hold the option key down and click on it and up pops our preset help window. Now let's look at what goes on here in the preset help window. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, if at all possible, just so you can see what's happening a little better. Okay, so here's the preset window and it shows you how to operate preset. And here are these sliders and toggles that they've already gotten ready here. And if you remember how preset works, if you click on these, and they're very subtle now, but the first four are a lighter gray than the other grays. So let's click on one. And if you click on one, you get these three sliders and no toggles. Click on two, you get a different settings and three X's and click on three and you get the stairway and every other toggle and you click on four and you get a completely different arrangement of uh, sliders and toggles. Very cool, very cool indeed. And just like, um, just like in the regular preset, because remember this is a patcher, if we change something like we get rid of every other one here and then we go back here to number four and we shift click on it, Right? Then, when we hit, um, I'll go hit one again. There's our first one, and I'm going to come back to four. It goes right back to that newly stored design there. But there is something funny going on here in this patcher. And this is where you can get yourself in trouble, oh, just occasionally. And that is, you notice there's no patch cords going from the preset to these objects. The reason for that is that if you don't hook anything to the preset, it remembers everything inside its entire patcher. So the people who put this here utilized that shortcut, and the only things that um, the preset can control are these. Nothing else in here is doing anything. So let's unlock our patcher and copy all this stuff. Close the patcher. And go back to our original patcher here. And we'll just, we'll get rid of this patcher. Delete. And now we'll, um, now we'll patch in that preset. And, okay. So before you click or do anything, they're all selected right now. So if it throws it in on top of your other stuff, just click down, don't let up, and drag them all at once out of the way. Okay. So now we have this lovely preset thing here, and we have all these slides and X's here. But I'm going to tell you, that if we were to then start using the presets here, um, this uh, preset would re also remember the state of this toggle over here, the state of this zero, the state of um, this one. It would remember the state of this toggle and it would force them to stop working. So what we're gonna do 
is we're going to actually connect this uh, preset to all of these objects. And this is just something it takes some time to know and it takes doing it wrong, which I've done in the past. So I know what, um, how preset can break things. Just by the way, what I'm doing right now is I dragged that wire over and I'm just holding the shift key down and that all makes multiple wires. And so I'm still holding the shift key down and now this is the last one. I'm letting up off the shift key, no more shift key, and there is the last one. So now that I have all of those um, hooked up, let's lock our patcher. Oop. Just getting some messages there. Um, and let's click on one and we see that the this preset has maintained its memory and it has all of these things in it. Cool. Well now if we unlock the patcher we can go from the bottom of this one which just by coincidence only counts to four to the top of this preset which just by coincidence and it is a coincidence, only has four presets stored in it. So let's lock our patcher and make it run. Whoops, I didn't lock it. I must have double clicked. There we go. So we make it run now and it goes one, two, three, four, and look at this thing go over here. It's like a, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like a, a light machine or something. So you could set anything connected to a preset um, like this if you wanted to control something. And maybe we'll just go ahead and do that, but not until the next tutorial, and won't that be exciting? In the meantime, uh, go ahead, steal some stuff from your help files, and have fun doing it. The only thing I would say is whenever you close the help files, if they do ask whether you want to save them, don't save changes made to help files, or your help files will always be just slightly different. Anyway, that's it. The big secret. Steal everything from help files, put them where you want, have a blast. Have a great day, patch well, and I will see you in the next tutorial.